Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. This is Jake with Career Solutions. If you watched our previous episode, we talked about making a cryptocurrency portfolio. Uh, in that episode, we actually covered creating our crypto sheet as well as our parameter sheet. And today we're going to go ahead and talk about building out the rest of this tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, prior to this video, I did a few things uh, just to kind of help speed things up. First off, I went and pulled uh, the most recent prices for the currencies that I'm actually invested in currently, which you'll see soon. Um, as well, I have uh, pre-made the report sheet formatting. Um, I did this to save on time. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do this, um, or if you'd like tips or tricks, uh, feel free, leave a comment, send me a message, and I'd be more than happy to make another video to show you kind of a more how-to style um, for basic Excel functionalities. Um, but that's not really the purpose of this video, uh, so I went ahead and did that. Now, along with that, I've created two tables. We have an investment table, and then we also have our investment analysis table. Um, and then I've also set up our named ranges that we're gonna be using for some of the formulas. Uh, as you recall in the previous video, uh, we've already set up named ranges for our cryptocurrencies as well as for our parameters that we utilize in a lot of the uh, a lot of the formulas. So it's important that you do that um, to keep things as dynamic as possible. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to get my actual um, investments copied over. So let's do that. Okay, boom. There you go. Okay, so these are some of the some of my investments. Uh, keep in mind that this tool is steered more towards uh, longevity. So buying a currency, holding the currency, and then uh, the real purpose is to do a comparison uh, utilizing Satoshi or the Bitcoin equivalent of your investments to validate if your investments performed better the way you invested them or if they had performed better if you had invested in Bitcoin. So that's kind of what the purpose of this is. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fill out our investments table and then we're gonna go in and we're going to fill out our analysis table. So for investments, um, one of the things that's kind of important so you don't end up with error messages and things like that and kind of you wanna keep things kind of more aesthetically pleasing makes it easier to look at what you got going on. So we're gonna do an if statement, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this on the crypto column, and we're gonna say if this is not equal to blank, we wanna do something, otherwise uh, we want it to be blank, okay? Now we're gonna copy the same formula, and we're gonna put it in each of these. Now we're also gonna do the same thing over here on the investment analysis off of the crypto column in the investment table. So if that is not equal to blank, do something, otherwise blank, okay? And we're gonna fill in that uh, true statement um, for each of these formulas, and you'll see that in just a second. So I'm just getting these filled in real quick. Okay, so that's done. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how much our investments are actually, how much of our cash was required uh, to purchase the actual investment. And we want to do that for USD, Satoshi, and Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and do that. So, oh, do, 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 do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our quantity purchased and we're simply going to times that by the amount it was purchased for. And then right here in the bottom right hand corner of that Excel box, just double click that since we are working with a table um, and it'll auto fill the rest of that table with that exact same formula. Now, had we not had that if statement here, we would actually be getting an error message right now. So we'd have a bunch of error messages going down uh, for the rest of this column. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, to get the Satoshi per dollar, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our uh, actual cost of purchase, and we're going to times that by the uh, BTC equivalent, okay? So that's going to give us a decimal but we're not done yet. So we're going to encapsulate that in parentheses, and then we're going to divide that amount by the actual dollar. So uh, we've created a dollar named range that represents one USD, hit enter, and then there you go, 67,666, which does not seem correct. And that is because it is not the cost of purchase, 
it is actually our BTC price it purchase. There we go, 10,631 Satoshi per dollar. Double click, and there you go. Now, simply to get the Satoshi, uh, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, the uh, Satoshi per dollar, and times that by the amount of USD it took to purchase that investment. So in this case, that would be 15.7 million. Double click again and we get the same thing. Now, we're also gonna do the same thing for Bitcoin. And to find the Bitcoin equivalent of Satoshi, all you need to do is go up here into our true statement, take the amount of Satoshi, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna times that by one Satoshi, or the equivalent, which in our case is 100th millionth of a Bitcoin. And there you go. And double click. And we now have our investment table completely filled out. So we're going to go ahead and move over to our investment analysis. This is kind of our, our P&L or profit and loss. Uh, so let's look at our USD column. So all we're going to do is we are going to take the price of the actual crypto that we invested in. So this would be the current market price. We're going to times that by the quantity. And in this case, we get 2,758. Now, if you're not very familiar with the formula I used, uh, indirect, uh, as you recall, we created named ranges for all of our cryptos. And we have a named range for BTC, LTC, and then I've created some for other investments that I've done. Um, and so you can do the same thing. And by doing indirect, I could simply just change this to, to Litecoin or LTC. And you can see that it actually changes the formula dynamically. So obviously that is not how that, that trade occurred. Um, so we're gonna change that back to Bitcoin. But uh, for future purposes, it makes it a lot simpler than uh, statically referring to it. So, okay, so now that we've got our USD, let's double click. And then we're gonna do the same thing for Satoshi. This is just gonna be our dollar equivalent of Satoshi times USD. Okay, so we're gonna take USD and we're gonna times that by the dollar equivalent of Satoshi, okay? Now you can see here, anything that's actually Bitcoin that we originally invested in that was Bitcoin, is going to, you're going to get the same Satoshi equivalents. Whereas for other cryptocurrencies like Litecoin, you're gonna see here that in this case, my investment is worth less Satoshi than it would have been had I invested in Bitcoin at that time. Now you'll see that once we get a little bit further in, into the tool. So let's go ahead and find our Bitcoin equivalent. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our true statement. And we're gonna do our Satoshi. And we're gonna times that by the uh, Bitcoin equivalent of Satoshi, which is 100th millionth. And there you go. And then double click, and then that fills down. And then you can see here that we get different Bitcoin equivalents because our investments are doing better or worse, hopefully better, obviously. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to get our uh, profits. So we're gonna do our profits for USD, Satoshi, and BTC equivalents. So let's do that real quick. So what we're gonna do here is to accurately get your profit, you're going to take uh, the value of your current investment as it is today, and you're gonna subtract your um, original investment. And that's how you're going to get um, the difference or the profit that you that you currently have with that investment and we're going to do the same thing for satoshi so that's just going to be satoshi minus satoshi now obviously if this was a bitcoin investment it's going to be zero right and then we're going to do our bitcoin equivalents so let's do our uh, bitcoin equivalent here and minus our bitcoin equivalent and again anything uh, bitcoin related is going to be zero so now obviously if you're investing in other cryptocurrencies, uh, the idea is, is that your currencies that you're investing in are hopefully going to outperform uh, Bitcoin. And that's what this is going to show you. Um, okay, so we now have a completed investment table and a completed investment analysis table. So now what we can do is we can actually gather our totals. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're just going to do a few uh, sum formulas. So total uh, dollars invested is going to be off of our cost of purchase. Now you wanna do this all the way to the bottom of the table so it's dynamic and it actually refers to the table uh, column range uh, rather than uh, statically, um, uh, rather than statically looking at 
a particular range. So we're going to do the same thing here for Satoshi. So now uh, some of you may ask why I'm not just simply dragging it over and that's because uh, some of my formatting in these cells aren't the same uh, as well as the number formatting that's used for uh, Bitcoin, Satoshi, and USD are all different. So rather than um, having to reformat that, it's easier just to type out the formulas. Okay, so now we have our totals for our investments. So now what we need to do is we need to get our total worths. So we're gonna do sum, same thing. We're just gonna do USD and then for Satoshi, we're gonna do the same thing for Satoshi. So we'll just do that real quick. And then for total Bitcoin, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a sum. And then these are just for our equivalents. There we go. Okay, so now we have our totals, right? Total initial investments, as well as our total worth and equivalents. Um, now what we wanna do is we wanna get our actual profits. Now these three columns are going to show you uh, what your portfolio is actually worth. So let's just take our uh, profit, which is our current worth minus our initial investment. And there you go. And you're gonna do the same thing for Satoshi. And then you're going to take the BTC equivalent. Uh, I need an equal sign there. All right, BTC equivalent, and we're gonna minus that. Boom, done. Okay, so if you're looking at my portfolio, it looks like I'm doing relatively, I'm doing pretty good based off of my uh, investments, whether that be in, in Bitcoin, you know, you know, if all of these cryptos were in Bitcoin and that was still my profit, that's still a good job. But that's not really what this tool is designed for. What we want to do is we want to figure out had we made more money if we invested in Bitcoin versus the actual cryptocurrencies that we went with. So that's where the remainder of these come into play here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take our, our total Bitcoin investment so, and this is going to be the total amount invested times what the actual market value is for uh, Bitcoin. Um, do, 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 do. And we're gonna encapsulate that in parentheses. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to minus that, okay? And this actually, uh, Okay, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, so actually not total worth, we wanna do our total Bitcoin. There we go. Okay, so $1,882.73 is kind of what the, the total is looking like. Um, so then what we need to do is just get our actual profit, which should be the same amount as this here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to do our total worth BTC times that by Bitcoin which we have a named range for, right? And then we're going to minus that amount from the amount that we told, that is our total investment. And then there you go, boom, $4,456.19. And then you'll see here, um, I actually already had the formula in place. So all this is doing is this is taking our actual current investment, the real scenario, and minusing what the could have been scenario. And then this is the difference. So. Really, this is kind of uh, the whole purpose of this tool is this this number right here. This tells us that we have outperformed in all of these investments, both uh, the coins that we decided to invest in, as well as the purchase prices that we bought them at, which obviously uh, entails the time range that we bought them at as well, uh, but also the purchase price that Bitcoin was also at at the time of, of purchase. So this tells us right here, at least for my portfolio that I'm currently showing you, is that I've outperformed Bitcoin by $2,500 with these investments that I've done. Um, so in other words, had I bought just simply Bitcoin and I ignored all the other stuff out there, um, I would have, you know, I would have made $1,882 profit. That's where I'd be sitting right now rather than $4,456. So now you can also turn this into a hypothetical tool if you want to, um, you know, so say, uh, say you wanted to buy, um, I don't know, Tron or, or something. We don't, we don't really have to go into that hypothetically, but uh, if you did do 
if you're looking at a stock and you're debating whether or not you think you should buy it, um, you can still play around with this a lot. And you can put in, you know, you bought a thousand XRP and you bought them at 0.55 and BTC purchase price at the time was say 14,000. You know, you'd be able to see here that um, your, your portfolio would still be better now buying XRP or Ripple than it would have been buying Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin, if you'd done this at the same time and say Bitcoin was only 4,000, you bought this months ago, um, you'd actually still be better off doing Ripple. So, um, so yeah, that's great. Oh, and that's just because of the such a small investment price. So um, anyways, so that's pretty much it. Uh, for this tool, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, give me some feedback on what you may like to see or ideas that you may have to turn this tool into a, a more powerful tool. Um, I do have plans to make a, a potential trading tool that will help uh, keep track of your fees, uh, withdrawals, transfers between wallets. Uh, as well as other exchanges. Um, and if you want to know more about kind of like what my strategy is, uh, I do this every day, uh, pretty much all day. So um, just let me know. Uh, and as well, in the future, I'm going to be coming out with some how-to videos just mainly tailored towards Excel itself, not so much involving cryptocurrencies. But if you would like me to come up with other potential solutions um, or ideas that you may have, uh, to help facilitate all of us making money. Um, I by no means have any issues with that. So again, leave a like, comment, subscribe to see more content, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.